Hello, my name is John Elliott. I'm the Dean of the School of Business here at UConn, and today we want to spend a few minutes with a few of the questions that we most frequently get from people about returning to campus in the fall of 2020. We've looked for ways to ensure that our faculty are delivering a very high quality educational experience. We said to the faculty that they should think about their coursework, their content, and for that matter, their health. And if all of those things led them to think that they would be better off with virtual learning than with face-to-face -face learning, we would work with them to create that opportunity. So in those five months, various faculty have made different plans for the way they would deliver content to students. And one of the things we know is that a well-designed, well-delivered course can be done virtually, online, asynchronous or synchronously, uh, in a very effective way. And now we've had the time to prepare to do so for your students, for our students, this fall. In preparing for various approaches to virtual education, uh, we worry about online delivery of content, which is asynchronous, or distance learning, which is synchronous. And both of those can be delivered with a number of different technologies. We may use Zoom, we may use Microsoft Teams, we may use WebEx. These are all very effective technologies that put information in front of students in different ways. Uh, generally, the faculty at UConn use Husky CT as a platform where information is made available and any student can access it at any time. We agree that one of the key things is that students should know what they're expected to do when they're expected to do it, what they are expected to learn, how that will happen, and all of that is captured in a syllabus about every course. The syllabus describes what will happen, and the syllabi are all available on Husky CT. So a student can go to Husky CT and see what's expected, when it's expected, how it should be delivered, and how they can participate in the learning effectively. When people look back at the spring and realize that we had to pivot in March and all of a sudden we went from being on campus, going through life as usual, to a virtual environment that was sudden. Uh, today, uh, it is possible that our return to campus will have to be again interrupted. It is possible that the virus will uh, attack and be a major issue and that we will again close the campus and we will again return to a virtual learning environment for everyone in every class. Well, two things to remember. One is that this fall already, many of our courses are designed to be and are being delivered in a virtual manner. Uh, many of our students have chosen to be entirely online in their educational experience this fall by their registration for classes. But if it becomes the case that the state, for example, mandates that universities close, we will comply with the state mandate. And if that occurs, we will find a way to take the courses that are being delivered face-to-face -face and convert them to online. I think the difference between an experience this fall and the experience last spring is that much is already online and those who are making a pivot, a transformation, a change, have had the experience of doing it once before, and it's always easier the second time. We don't want to go there. We don't expect to go there. We're taking a lot of care to do pre-testing as students arrive on campus, to create an environment that is safe and virus-free, to control and do uh, contact tracing for any groups who've been exposed in any setting that we're familiar with. We're going to do all of those things, and we believe it will be sufficient to create a safe learning environment this fall. But if necessary, we will transform our educational experience to an entirely online approach if we have to. As you think about what this experience will look like this fall, it's important to realize that although we will not be face-to-face -face in every way that we would normally be, 
we are going to be delivering all of the services and all of the opportunities that we always have delivered. So there will be very strong career services opportunities for our students. There will be very good continuing academic advice for our students. Academic advising will go on, career services will go on. Uh, the things that we've always done, we will continue to do. Much of it will be done electronically. Much of it will be done by various kinds of electronic interaction. Uh, but those things have proven to be quite effective for many of these individual one-to-one -one communications. And hopefully today, this communication has been effective in helping answer for you some of your questions about returning to campus at UConn in the fall of 2020. Thanks for joining me today.